Hi, I'm Ali. Today I'm going to read your book called The Witch Who Loves Sing Chi. Okay, I'm going to read this book. This book, there is a little girl whose name is Yuna, and her dad goes to see oversee another land. He works there, and one day he goes to Europe, London, London. So when Yuna's dad came home. She greeted her dad, and her dad bought her a doll. Almost, she was just waiting for her doll because her dad has been buying her, buying a doll almost a year. Actually, there is a really a doll set. She has a hobby of dolls: a doll from India, Ireland, Japan, China, or all sorts of kind of. And there is even USA doll. Actually, Yuna is for the US from USA, and she was born, but she moved into Korea when she was six years old. So today there was a a little knight whose name was Gerald. So she decided she she was going to keep him another of her bookshelf, and now that night she was about to go to her seat. And Gerald's body was moving, and and inside something sort of witch came out from his body. So she was really amazed, but like a really tiny figure. This little little witch has came from his body. Okay, and first she thought she was really scared. She was really scared, so she was thought that it was a ghost. But actually, that was the little little witch that was inside Gerald's body, and and it become getting bigger and bigger as a balloon. She she first thought, "Wow, that witch is from the fairy tale." So she thought, "Who are you?" She asked for them like that, but the witch said, "I am the witch who is from the Gerald's body, and I think I'm going to starve him to death. Oh, I can't breathe! I can't really breathe. Oh, fresh air, fresh air!" She said. So now this Yuna said, "Okay, why are you here?" They said, "You know, I'm in the Gerald's body. I think I even travel thirteen hours a day." Wow, this is just many because this Gerald Gerald toy has traveled all around the world. So I'm real, I'm really thirsty and hungry. So please get some kimchi. And Yuna decided to give her some rice and kimchi, but she said she only want kimchi. So she decided to go to the kitchen and get some kimchi. Actually, Yuna didn't love any kimchi. She really don't want to have. So she gave the the box of kimchi to. The witch. Then the witch gobbled it up and even ate the all the specks of the kimchi. So she was eating like this, and Yuna was surprised. Okay, she was eating all even the little spicy speck of all the kimchi, and but still the kimchi was left. So she said, "I'm going to save this for later." But first, Yuna thought, "Oh, how how about you eat this just all the time?" Then the kimchi gone all in. The the kimchi all around the world will disappear. She really hopes so because she really don't love kimchi. So this witch decided, oh, but you got to save things for later. Then you will be more great. Then Yuna said, don't understand. So she said, what do you mean? Then the witch said, it's like a punishment when you do something bad, the other bad thing came. So like. You have all the leftovers. That leftovers, you have to eat more. Like that's like that. She said. Um. Actually, you know, really left really many kimchi. So so her mom always scolded her, and and she really don't love kimchi. So her mom her mom always eat her kim kimchi. So she always wanted the witch to eat all over the kimchi all. Over the world, she really hoped so secretly, but she really didn't. She thought, which if she heard that, she really don't like kimchi. I she think that she will stop eating, so she just decided to just keep that secret. And that day, the witch said, "Okay, I'm going to save this for later. And tomorrow, you have to give me the other kimchi." 
she said. And the morning, her mother said, oh, That's strange. There's not many kimchi left. I'm going to buy some. Her ma when her mom was out, Yuna slowly opened the fridge and we get some kimchi out. And she said, You've got to eat this all later. And then another kimchi will arrive. And now Yuna pretended that she was eating some kimchi, but really, secretly, she was. She wasn't eating and just left in it. And when the time which had came, she always gave the kim the witch the kimchi. But actually, the mom thought that really Yuna was eating, so she said, "You're a Korean now." And she asked, "Does every Korean eat kimchi?" Then her mother asked, "Do you see a Korean who didn't even like kimchi or never eat kimchi?" She asked like this way. So. Actually, this witch's job is to eat eat all of the people's favorite foods in that world. When you have to say Korea kimchi like that, or Japan Japan's sushi like that, so the, that is the witch's job. And now Dad has to go to Russia. So, so Yuna has the idea to get the get this witch to go to Russia and eat the food that Russia's food. Then she said, Dad, how about you, you buy some Korean dolls and give give someone to when at Russia? She asked and Dad asked why. Then she said, it's great to, to say the Russian people Korea and I think every people can know what Korea is. So her dad bought her a little a little doll who, whose name is Kapsun and Kapto. And then she said, I'm going to introduce them to my dolls. Then she secretly put the witch inside the doll and then she was ready. And now, now that dad is packing and now he's ready to go, that means the witch is going with him. And she asked dad, what do Russian people like like to eat then he said there is a little drink that russian people really like to eat so he said i think he said like that and she was really laughing about thinking that which had, had was really full full that because she drank really many many drinks and she you know like that first because when the witch was eating when her mom was out the Yuna said that you're if you if my mom and dad find out you're going to the zoo because you're mysterious like that. So she was really thinking of a zoo. And now this this is the way that Yuna's mom tell her that she's a real Korean. And now when this is the end, they put in this this is the witch is captured inside and which who's going to drink really many juice. Okay, and today I read, I read you a book called The Witch Who Loves Kimchi. Actually, this story, I never imagined, you never imagined a witch who loves kimchi, right? I think this story that, that Yuna, I hope so that Yuna loved to eat kimchi too. Too. Okay, and today I read a book called The Witch of Love Kimchi. Okay, thank you for seeing this video. Bye!